For many users, dealing with the host file can be quite daunting. It means going into the Windows System 32 file. And this program simplifies it. Download Host Expert, extract the files from the zip file, double click to open, and simply double click on this one and open it up. It will populate the list, and if you have host files already on your computer, if you're using Spybot or you're using MVPS, HP hosts, this will list them. Now, if you have problems connecting because you're being redirected because of malware infections or whatever, you can restore the MS host file. Simply click here and click OK. It will clear the file. And this then is a clean host file. Now if you want to populate your list, click on download. Now the first thing you need to do is go to your start menu and into the run and type services.msc and then OK. This will open the services window. Scroll down to DNS client, right click and select properties. Now this is set on automatic, you need to set it to manual. Click OK, close the window. Again, open up the host file, click on download, MVPS hosts, we will replace, click OK and it will download the complete MVPS host file. You can also check for updates in the future. Now you have 16,606 lines. HP hosts, you can merge the file into it. Click OK. And this doesn't take very long. Again, you can check for updates. Uh, HP hosts was last updated the 20th of January. And MVPS was the 8th of January, I believe. Now when it's processed, the list now you have 64,048 lines. Now, things you can do is editing, you can add hosts. If you click here, it enters your local host, which is 127.0.0.1, and you enter the host name. And let's pick google.com, add line, and we'll enter google.co.uk as well. So those two should be blocked. So I will close that window. I will open up a browser. And I will go to google.com. And it was refused. It's been blocked by the host file. If I go to google.co.uk, again, this has been blocked by the host file. So what I will do now is reopen the host editor, click on editing, scroll down to the ones that I've blocked and click delete. Delete line, OK. And Google again. Uh, you also have the option to add it to a whitelist, which means it will be safe. You can do that which is very simple, very easy. And in here you can block any site you like. If you come across a site you don't want or a site you want to block, add it here. It will redirect your local host and come up as unavailable. It's very simple, very easy to use. I will open a new browser window and I will go to Google again. And I've got Google.com, go to Google UK and it's there. Nice, simple and easy. If you want more information, go to my blog, which is Free PC Security, and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk.